Hello again. I'm actually looking for my missus. I actually think she's lost the plot just a little bit because you can see we're in the middle of nowhere here. What she's decided to do is to walk from Kanzibi Hospital all the way to Sitalili Hospital. That happens to be a distance of 67 kilometers. What's so special about that? Nelson Mandela fought for social justice for 67 years. And it's that time of year that we celebrate that. So we need to know exactly why Yvonne is doing this. I think we should go catch up with her. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Doing well, thank you. Just tell me, what, why are you doing this? Well, when you brought me up here last year for the first time, I just fell in love with the work that Grace Vision is doing. It's incredible. So I thought we needed to highlight the work that they do, number one, and the vast area that they cover. There's, there's miles and miles of nothing, and yet they seem to get to everybody. Also, hopefully, to raise some funds so that they can continue with this amazing work. That is really how the Mandela Day Long Walk for Sight was born. Okay. Well, you don't have time to stand around talking to nope. me, obviously, so nope. you better get going. Off Thank you go. Thank you very much. The Grace Vision team never ceases to amaze and are now looking to expand their services into yet another rural district. So we're here at the Madwaleni Rural Hospital, about 100 kilometres southwest of Zitulele, where we started. And we would like to replicate our programme into this area if you will help us find the funds to do that. But right now, there's a very special celebration happening at the Kocha Clinic, not very far from here. So let's go and join the Grace Vision team right now. The Grace Vision team has reason to celebrate as they reach their 100,000 screened patients since September 2012. During this time frame, they have also performed over 1,800 cataract surgeries and managed to circulate over 14,000 spectacles to those in need. Reaching out to such a high number of patients can only mean that this team is hardworking, dedicated and committed to the eye care, health and general well-being of the local communities. Wait guys, this mama is our number 100,000 patient we're screening today. I've been here from day one when we screened our very first patient and today we're celebrating our 100,000 patient. It's hard to believe, it's crazy and I'm very excited and I've been very privileged to be part of it. It's so exciting to see all the great work that Grace Vision has done. I love working with people who sometimes walk from far and arrive to the truck for health and eye care and then we make them feel welcome. I am so happy to be able to assist the team by helping the patients and at the same time to help the optometrist to do the screening. And the greatest part is to see the kids. We find them like they are unable to see so then when they got the glasses they are able to see. It's such an honor and a privilege for me to see that. Screening literally tens of thousands of kids at schools, making sure that short-sightedness and other eye problems are picked up early and dealt with professionally. And I think that just makes a huge difference to how people see health, to how people access eye care and the level at which the community is able to function from a healthy point of view rather than seeing disease as a norm. It's been such a privilege to assist in surgery, watching all the cataract being removed and the patient able to see again. I've been with Grace Vision now for a year and it has been a privilege working with them, going to pray for people and seeing their lives change and uh, restoring them back to God. It's been such a privilege working with an incredible team that we have here at Grace Vision. So for me, it's just been an honor and a thrill to be involved in this work. Without the unique role everyone plays there, we just couldn't do it without everybody. What an amazing team we have. The impact of Grace Vision has been tremendous. We, we dreamed of a partner that would come and help us actually make a difference where people are at. And the model from the beginning has been going out to 
clinics, uh, in fact starting almost with homesteads to, to spread the word that you could now access healthcare uh, for your eyes. What's incredible is to think that we've gone from a place where blindness was an accepted norm of getting old to a place where we think we've eliminated the backlog of blindness. We're dealing with the new old people getting blind and that's an incredible achievement for Grace Vision and an incredible achievement for this community to be able to think that if you've got eye problems you can get care. It's, it's really life-changing. It takes a tremendous amount of effort and dedication and Grace Vision have been incredible at that. Outside the Setulele hospital gates, the Grace Vision team stand together to support and celebrate the end to a 67 kilometre long walk for sight challenge in honour of Mandela Day. Wow, we've got so much to celebrate. The Mandela Day walk and our 100,000th screened patient. Can you imagine that if 100,000 of you were prepared to donate 10 Rand towards this eye care project, we'd easily be able to go into other rural areas. So why don't you go to our website and see how you can support us. Madiba would be proud of you.